Hey, how's it going tonight, today, where are we from in this beautiful world? Alright, so I had um, a request, well, someone had asked in one of the comments if I could, if I was, when I planned on uh, doing a review of one of my beers, and I, I'm hoping it was for this one, <laughs> but it was uh, for the double New England IPA that I did on the last live stream. And it's it's ready, but it's not anywhere near what I wanted it to be. It's not hazy. It's got more of a chill haze. Uh, it does have the kind of the sweetness level and uh, somewhat of the softer level and even a full body. But we'll get into that for sure. Um, but yeah, for what I was looking for, but it just didn't have the haze that I wanted. Uh, and I just... Uh, but we'll we'll find out. It's it's get it got it was a little better tasting last night. So let's let's see what this is all about. We'll stop right there because I got an awesome ass head. I think my my uh, CO two is a little high, but that's all right. Dirty glass mafia. Ay ay ay. Anyway, in the Guinness glass, running out of glasses, folks. Sorry, not the proper glass. But you can see it just looks like a Westie. Looks like a West Coast with a chill haze. So I did not do well with the hazy. I'm looking into it more, trying to see what I can do, maybe add more flaked wheat along with the flaked barley or flaked uh, wheat, uh, oatmeal. So we'll, uh, flaked oats. So we'll see. What I can do next time, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying to do this, but definitely has a medium slow rising bubble in the carbonation. It poured at about a two finger. It's off white, a little bit on the yellow side of the, on the head. A little rocky on the top. Very nice foam. Good head retention. So it's mellowed out quite a bit. At first, it was very sweet and cloying smelling and tasting. I get more uh, like a candied cantaloupe melon. Some candied, um, kind of like a candied, maybe apricot or something. You definitely get a malty vibe in this for sure. Um, let me pull this down a little bit because I'm... Let me sit back a bit. It just has a very, it still kind of has that cloying kind of thing because I, you know, there's not really a, a balance technically for a New England as far as like bitterness, like IBUs and stuff, like, like, B, uh, like your bitterness unit, gravity units, as far as keeping it with, within the realm of a certain style. It's considered a specialty style in BJ, with BJCP, so there's not really like it, it's very um, the range is is I think it's like 30 IBUs to 60. I kept mine at 26 or 28 something like that, and it was a it was way too little, especially for it like it's this is like an eight this is like an 8.6 or seven eight nine I think actually I think it's what it clocked out to be in. So you can see what I'm saying. I, I probably should have brought it up to like a f maybe 50 IBUs, 40 IBUs, 45, 50, 55 even. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a learning experience. So looks good. Great looking beer. Great looking Westie if you want to say that. Or even uh, an England English IPA or uh, a new um, uh, East Coast IPA, something like that maybe. It looks like a Northwest IPA or a West Coast. But let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. Yeah, it's getting, a, it's getting a lot better. The carbonation is pushing up the sweetness. It's pushing out the sweet cloy uh, a, a, a feel that I was getting before. I don't get as much graininess. I was getting a grain, and now I don't get that as much. The carbonation is medium low. The body is uh, like a medium, almost pushing kind of full. I did make it to be a full body. My mash temperatures were a little wonky, and my fermentation temps were good. 
Kept it within around, uh, what, 65 to 68, maybe 70. At, at, it was kind of fluctuated. Yeah. Mmm, yeah, just very candy-like. Candied um, melon. Candied, um, like, cantaloupe is the big one. Cantaloupe and a little apricot, a little apricot um, leather. You know, like a uh, fruit roll-up kind of taste. Very fruity, very uh, juicy. It has the juice factor. It has everything that you would taste in a New England. But it just looks like this. It's a little more... It's not, it's not totally like a New England, though. I, I couldn't say it totally tasted like a New England. Or so, like some of the New Englands that I've had that are like exceptional, you know, like, whoa, this is definitely not exceptional, definitely needs work. Uh, the, the finish is, is, it's not as cloying, it was a little more cloying. I do get a little heat from the alcohol, there is a lot more heat um, than before. Orange. Like a navel orange is coming through. Candied orange, though. Like the candied orange pieces, the jelly pieces with sugar on them. When you clench your tongue to your palate, you get more of that um, kind of a biscuity. I did add victory malts in this. You get a biscuity kind of um, uh, grainy uh, oat. Like You do get the oats, the flaked, uh, flaked oats. Very creamy, though. It has a creaminess to it. Still a little cloying. You know, like I said, it could have. It does have a green uh, spice from the hops. It maybe it needs to mellow out a little more, a little more time, two more weeks or so. I'm almost done with it though. I've been drinking the crap out of it. I was drinking it when it wasn't that great. Now I wish I would have waited. But I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't really want to score my own beer. But I'll definitely say it's, it's, it's approachable now more than it was before. It's more approachable now than ever, for sure. It's uh, a little more relaxed, like I said, on the cloying. Um, and uh, the, the, uh, some of it's not bitter uh, by no means. It does have a slight kick of bitter, but it's not anywhere near what, yeah, what you would think. Definitely more drinkable, though, now. So, you know, not bad. It's, you know, if, if I was going to say anything, it would probably be like the uh, low to mid B kind of thing in that world. You know, maybe 75, 70, 78 to 80, 85, maybe at the very most. But it's, I, I, that's just being nice to myself, you know. I, I, need, I need to do a little more work with this, adjust the recipe a little more, figure out how to get that full on haze. So... Anyway, it was fun. It was a fun day, and we'll have another one too. I'm gonna, I'll brew up another one. We'll do another live stream here real soon. So, cheers, guys. You have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. Um, since it's my own beer, fuck it. After, not after one more sip. <laughs> I don't normally do that unless it's a 90 plus. Cheers. All right.